It's Thursday again, and we all know what that means. It's put your pants on day. So break out your finest pair of listening devices and join Ziona and Slaygon for a bit of chat live here on Slay Radio. Hi everyone. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you Hello. doing? Good. Thank you. Me too. All good. A bit tired. Yeah. Thanks. Hi. Oh, you're also here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the yeah. It's 2022, and the 3rd of November. We are slightly after Halloween, and yes, this still feels like a spooky night because. The clock has been just adjusted, I think, on the weekend. And just adjusted. Just adjusted. <laughs> exactly. And Justifiably just adjusted. Yeah. I don't think that that whole clock thing is justifiable, to be honest. That is very true. That is absolutely not justifiable. That's I really hope. <laughs> craziness. Really hope we will leave this behind at some point because it just feels so odd. And right now... Um, in the morning it's dark, in the evening it's dark, when you return from work or whatever you did by day, it's just dark. And these dark nights are the spooky nights anyway, and Halloween was just around the corner. So tonight, every ghost and goblins and pumpkins are welcome, because why not? You are getting some apparently. messages there, apparently. So... Uh, yep, absolutely. And I guess we can fire up the show with the remix that you had lined yes, up. Yes, uh, that was a, just a test uh, I uh, queued up, but uh, it turned out to, I just grabbed a tune at random, literally at random. Random. Yes. It, uh, those so, randoms are there we always go. the best. Yeah. <laughs> you and Sean and Goats and Goblins, a spooky shuffle mix.
Fuddly-dum. Fuddly-dum. <laughs> fuddly-dum, fuddly-dum. <laughs> well, you haven't <laughs> unmuted yet. <laughs> so I, I, I to, just switched to, it on. I think they uh, just got the dum at the end of the first one. Fuddly-dum, fuddly-dum. Dum-dum. 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 Okay. Fuddly-dum-dum. Yeah, yes. greetings everyone on Discord, by the way, and on Twitch, and on YouTube, and uh, what else we have? Uh, IRC. Uh, yeah, we still have I, IRC. We do. But it's bridged, so... Yes, it is. Most of the people During are on live Discord. shows, it is. Yeah, so... So, well, how was your spooky week? Dark. <laughs> yeah, you kind of wake up when it's dark, and then when you go to sleep, it's dark. Um, and it's even so. worse when you actually go somewhere and return in the dark and living in the dark. I think that's way more annoying. It is. Mm -hmm. the, the whole day is just dark. Isn't it? Yes, just dark. Maybe I shouldn't complain because people up north, they kind of, they don't really have much daylight now. The, I mean, not the, now, but later. Yeah, not a whole lot right now. Well, even less later. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess this much. So that's mm -hmm. why I was just wondering about that. But yeah. But yeah. Yeah. No, it's um, yeah, it's uh, been a week. Um, out of all of the weeks I've had, it's been one of them. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yep. I love the specific descriptions that you provide. It's uh, very specific. It was a week. It well, was indeed a week. Well, for me too, I guess. It's, uh, it's like, yeah, definitely the time of the year starts when in the evenings I just pull the blanket on me and I just want to lay back with a cup of tea and that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, mine is the tea then. Minus the sea. Well, but every now and then you do that too. Yeah, sure. I do. Which every can now be and then. only Earl Grey because... Because it's the best one. No. <laughs> that is not entirely true. It is for me. Unless it has licorice because then... Earl Grey. Then still Earl Grey. Yes. God, there is something that has licorice and you are not crazy about it. <laughs> How is that even possible? Uh, like uh, Paranoid Droid says, uh, T minus the T is EA, it's in the game. <laughs> or name, or whatever it is. <laughs> I can't, that can't is, remember. That is very true, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What should we do? I, I think don't know, a show? Yeah, Isn't that why we're here? That's what we decided to do, yes, <laughs> definitely. Some aim, at least. <laughs> Um, we have our mandatory request for tonight lined oh. up just now for Martin Land because this this request we always need to play around Halloween and there is always someone requesting it so I guess we should just get over it because at least we can check it for the evening, right? Yeah, and it's a hell of a good song still. I can't remember when it was released but 2003-ish? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, hold on, I need to check this. Uh... Yep. Trauma, I'm a pumpkin man, and this is a remix of A Cauldron 2. And do you want to... Yeah, 2003. Yeah. Oh, my God, oh, that wait. means... Oh, I thought it was... Uh, I looked wrong. I thought it was released on my birthday. <laughs> it was not. Nope. When it was released then? 16th of February. Oh, what a disappointment. Well, that's, that is just slightly off like four months, right? Yeah, okay. Just, <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit. Well, in that case, I'm going to just play the song. I'm uh. Pumpkin Man. I'm uh. Pumpkin Man. I'm uh. Pumpkin Man. Pumpkin <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
pumpkin man. I'm a pumpkin man. I really like the part of the song when it goes bonkers in the end. <laughs> Indeed. I was listening to a, a track uh, both of us have worked on previously. And we go kind of a little bit nutty at the end on that track as well. Still a lot to do on that. Both of you? Both of us. Both of us? Yes. Ah, that one. That, that we one. That one together. Yes. In, yeah, definitely. In, in like w whenever it was. <laughs> yeah, that's such a weird thing because when you work on it, sometimes you just think it's um, it's great. Hey, it yeah, sounds good, and then you just get back to it half year later. Yeah, I kind of heard it uh, even back then, which is why we never released it. So yeah. But yeah, it's uh, fixable. So all good, all good. Good. Well, okay, we will see if we get back to it at some point, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's mostly like a mixing issue um, on that one, though. So. Yeah, but that is definitely there. That would be great to fix before the mix. Yeah, and uh, this is very informative for the listeners. Yes. Uh, that thi you know the thing that you never heard of, but uh, it's a thing that exactly. it, it's uh, got some work to do on Didn't it. Didn't we play a sneak peek in one of our shows? Uh, maybe we did. I think no, we did. I don't think anybody remembers. No, I don't think okay. so either. Ma make, it, make it a competition. Which one are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you win, um, uh, I don't know, um, uh, um, oh yeah, you, you win this, um, it's uh, a, a, a screen, a 4K screen, what? this is a, a, a 4K screen actually. A 4K screen? Yes, if you plug this into your computer, it thinks there's a 4K screen connected to it. Wow! That? Which is very very handy when you have a bl uh, l like running a Blender on a remote machine, and want to use the uh, the um, uh, um, 
the hardware rendering uh, capabilities. Wow, okay. And uh, this is a giveaway then? It is a giveaway, yes. Okay, um, why not? Aren't we having CDs for giveaway as well? We do have those as well, but this mm -hmm. is kind of uh, guess uh, something. I think CDs and such uh, are better suited for like prizes for like a remix competition and that, that sort of thing. True. Yes. And uh, Barry Leach uh, says, is it a Cauldron 2 remix? Nope. Nope. It is not. It has nothing to do with Cauldron. <laughs> and Carrion says, Slagon, you run Blender? Me shocked. <laughs> yeah, all the uh, animations you see in between uh, when we play songs on the video streams, uh, those are made in Blender. Yeah. So, so he not, doesn't only run, he knows one or two things. After yeah. like how many years now? Four years that Some, you do this? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I kind of just started uh, because it seemed like a fun thing to do. I thought, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, Carrion yeah, is also nice. a huge Blender fan. Nice. Nice. Indeed. And user two. Yeah, cool. Nice. Oh, well, you started very early, though. <laughs> a bit earlier than me. Yeah, Carrion started in 1999. Kind of. Around wow. the same time I started Slay Radio then. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoid Droid also started up his blender <laughs> with our favorite gif if someone is only listening, the blender. Yeah, and if you want to join the discussions and see all the stupid memes and whatnot, you can join us on Discord uh, by following the link slay.radio slash Discord. Yeah. Definitely. So, and we will be there and welcome you with open arms sometimes. Unless <laughs> sometimes unless we're not. <laughs> so sometimes we hate you, that's why yeah, yeah. that's what you want to say. Yep. Okay. Well Somet sometimes very we welcome him. <laughs> he he knows how to invite people in. He is a very social person. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which we have some requests to play. And the next one you might have lined up, right? Did you? Um, I did indeed, yes. So we can actually just, uh, uh, hold on, I'm just going to see that we have volume. Yes, we do. So let's try this. It's, um, uh, what is it again? It's Master Boot Record with uh, Zach and McCracken and the one, Alien Mindbenders. Yes, and this one goes to Paranoid Droid. So. So.
started a dunk. Yep, that's <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that it quite, uh, quite interesting actually. Uh, I was watching him uh, do uh, so, some track. Uh, he has a Discord node Twitch uh, stream, and uh, I uh, joined it and uh, watched him do a track. He works nothing like me at all. Nothing. It's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's always interesting to see the people's workflow. Let yeah. me see if you get this link. Do we get the sound of it? No. Or others will tell if they because hear I'm any muted. discords. Oh, right. Okay, gotcha. That's, that was a good move. I, I couldn't mute uh, while we were kind of playing that track. But yes, now I can. I still think that this lightning is not really what we need right lightning. now. Lightning? Lightning. The lightning is needed. Where is Thor? <laughs> that, that is also not what we need at the moment, but okay, the lights are also not really um, how it, they should be. So. Well, you should not watch that screen. Well, but which screen I should Look watch? Look at that screen, for well, instance. That, that probably won't help. It will. Well, because this has, uh, has all the backlighting uh, or brightness turned down to zero, because otherwise we get uh, this zzz sound. Uh huh. Well, okay, we will see. But anyway. Yeah, not too bad though. No, not not horrible, no. but uh, but interesting. Yes, definitely. Different. Yeah. Because why not? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind, it's fine. But definitely it uh, looks better on a screen. At least some details are visible, which I don't see from well, there. Of course you don't. Like I said, mm -hmm. brightness is turned down to zero on that screen. Because uh, it's yeah. a shitty screen and has a shitty pulse width uh, modulator for um, adjusting the brightness. Yeah. So whenever that is on, it, you get the square wave of that modulation on the uh, stream mm -hmm. so not fun is that also why i hear this uh, specific background noise when i record something here no that is a different background noise yes the more devices you have the more background noise we will have and there's oh. nothing you can do about that not necessarily yeah, well, it depends on device yeah, I guess it depends. Which which one gives us the noise in the background then? Uh, the shitty sound card. The shitty. Which one is the shitty one? The one on uh, no uh, next to the mixer over there. It's one of those uh, uh, shitty sound cards that you get uh, when you buy a Behringer uh, mixer, right? Like like UCS uh, four hundred or two UCS two hundred or something like that. It's called. Why are we using that if we have also good sound cards? Uh, because all the uh, good inputs and outputs on the good sound cards are taken. What That's a why. disappointment. So, had okay. to use those. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Well. And also, cabling. Yeah, yeah, I know. That is also a problem. Yeah. We need to live with that for a while. For a little bit. And uh, we did not mention just yet, but we also have a Remix News Edition for tonight. And the good thing is that we are almost caught up right now for the weeks and months when we were off air. Because today we will give you, or well, Leo will give you, or present you, September. And there will be only October left after that. Yeah, and how um, cool is that? Technically, this would have been the week when uh, we did the October thing, but usually when there's only a couple of days, uh, we postpone it anyway to the week after. Yeah. So it kind of uh, falls perfectly in line with uh, the schedule. So Lovely. it's all good. Yeah, absolutely. So this sounds great to me. And then I guess we can also play the next request as well. Uh, you mean this one uh, that you sent? Maybe, yeah. That if if you have lined it up, yeah, yeah, it's, then it's uh, perfect. All lined up. Okay, so this one goes out to DJ Demon, and he said anything in post tracker with Scaven, and uh, he offered have songs uh, if you need. The thing is that he was working in Scream Tracker, but that that is well, in post tracker can definitely handle. Uh, most of the screen tracker things, which, which was like a more advanced version of it anyway. 
I guess it knew more channels, like 64 channels, if I remember correctly. Screen Tracker was only 32, I think. And uh, yeah, it's um, technically the next song is a very classic favorite of mine. And this would be played from Scream Tracker. And let's hope it will still sound good. And uh, yeah, they're going to line it up. I did indeed. So yep. here is Ice Frontier from 1993 by Scavian of the Future Crew. nice loop <laughs> yep that's that's just at the end and yes it's it was supposed to loop uh, but anyway never mind so yes this is the full, full length well not full length of the song sometimes they uh, had some loop forever parts and all of that yeah and that's kinda. how they were set up yep but yeah it's a very lovely track um, and i had a particular uh, remix uh, of that one that was made a few years later. Uh, I think he was a Hungarian uh, demo singer who made it. And that is also very, very good. Uh, I'm gonna look for it because mm. I'm not really sure. Like, probably Modern Archive it still should be available, but uh, very, very nicely done. And he definitely combined the second part and the first part as mm. well. So yeah, great song, great composition, and of course Skaven, who recently appeared on the remix scene, and he oh, which released. Is very, very nice. Yes, indeed, he released some songs, and uh, some we might play today as well. Indeed. Now that we talk about it. And uh, people are talking about uh, Gravis Ultrasound, because I think that was uh, made on one of those, that track that we just played. Yeah. I think that was the uh, subtitle of it uh, or something. Uh, let me just check. Yes, it yeah. was. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I never had one. Uh, I just had a um, shitty sound blaster or whatever. Mm. Uh, right up until the time when I got myself a, um, uh, what was it called? Julia. The Julie at uh, mm. LSI, MSI, uh, not MSI. Uh, I can't remember. You don't know what you missed. It yeah. had a beautiful sound. It was really, really mind-blowing and uh, clean and uh, mm. not comparable to any sound blaster I heard before and after that. And uh, I had a classic first with one megabyte of uh, RAM, I think. 
and then later on uh, plug and play version with eight megabytes. Oh my god! <laughs> like that meant that you could uh, load like eight megabyte of samples without crashing them because the mm -hmm. uh, fast tracker worked that way that if you loaded over that uh, eight megabytes then those samples wouldn't play mm -hmm. so the, the it completely used the sound cards memory and that was one of the reasons why uh, i had a setup with two sound cards for a little while and it was very cumbersome first to resolve that but uh, when I really needed something or more RAM or more instruments, then of course I could just switch to the Sound Blaster and uh, it was always just a hassle to configure them with the IRQs and uh, everything so they are properly kind mm -hmm. of, you can just switch between them and... But yeah, it was the great times definitely and yeah, I don't have the crevices anymore. No, Fortunately. and uh, I'm still looking for my uh, hard seed. Uh, that is a, a ISA card because um, I got a, a 486 a PC from uh, Gohanks mm -hmm. when he was here for the garden party. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm still looking for that card. Uh, I did find uh, a separate uh, fanless graphics card that I uh, plugged into my uh, workstation upstairs. Uh, so that I can run uh, Cubase uh, in a virtual machine using that card. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just a pass-through card essentially. Okay. So. But do you have uh, like a, mm -hmm. a board that you can use that card with currently? Uh, which card? The hard seed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the uh, 486 I got from Gohanks. I yeah, okay, said. okay, oh. right, okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that uh, that will be uh, hooked into uh, this setup somehow, and so we can play uh, uh, HVSC uh, straight off of uh, a real SID. Jesus Christ! Yeah. I just realized that I also started with that the DLC <laughs> one, but that cannot can it handle like? Uh, you like just send a SID to to the uh, uh, hard SID, and then that plays okay. it. So, yeah. Sounds great. So, all it needs to do is send uh, send some uh, tiny amount of data. Hmm? Okay, so, why not? Yeah, that will work fine. Yeah. I, I, I used the hard seed way back in the 90s or whatever uh, on my 386. Worked, worked wonders. Really nice. Hmm. Well, sounds great. We have a lot of plans at least lined up. I guess that's great. And uh, yeah, still a lot of plans regarding uploading all the stuff that uh, we and others have taken as well. It's really on the corner, but oh, oh, yeah, sorry. From, from bit, bit live. From bit live. Uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. cut out uh, the um, uh, artist panel uh, bit out of there, um, aligned uh, and uh, aligned the um, audio and processed it a little bit because there's a uh, background hum in there. So yeah, need to do that for basically all of the um, things except maybe um, the louder um, kind of uh, D your DJ set for instance, uh, you wouldn't notice that anyway so I'm not going to bother. Mm. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's uh, like 14 hours of video to go through. So mm -hmm. It's going to take a little bit but um, we already started so they will be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, I hope chronologically, uh, in order of appearance. Mm -hmm. So, it's in the works. So, we're on it, definitely, and the pictures as well. Yes. And we have a lovely request from Lower Diva, who, um, uh, who might not know that I win so much. Then was at a bit live as well. So. Uh, because, well, his song is the next one that we are going to play. And uh, this one is called Stable Raster. Thank you. 
yay, yeah, it's so much time and stable rester. Now we have the proper attire and uh, yes, it's barely visible in this darkness. Well, That's... on that screen. <laughs> Oh, look yeah, at right. the proper screen. Okay, I will look at the proper screen. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, yeah, but perfect requests are coming in. I just lined up one. And, uh, yep. There we oh, go. Yeah. I just need the proper window. I don't know how many years it will take for me to get used to this cord, but... Uh, it still happens that I miss some messages because they are on other channels of the channels. So, <laughs> yeah, once we, we will get there, I guess, eventually. So, yeah. all good. Yeah. yeah it's just a practice a thingy. Yeah, absolutely. We're on it. Let's hope the best. Yeah, for me, it's mostly that uh, I read a message and then I think, yeah, I'll uh, respond to that later and then I forget. Uh, because I haven't found a good way to actually set a reminder or anything like that, so. Yep, and Proton is here, hi! Hello, Proton! Saw your uh, uh, Halloween demo, by the Very way. Very nice job, mm -hmm. yeah, indeed. <clears throat> Cone, congratulations. Cone, cone uh, gratulations. Co cone, you have a cone on Definitely your head. Definitely cone, cone gratulations there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I can see that there is Guinness on your head. Do you like Guinness yes, by any chance? I do. Uh, that's a beer that I like too, surprisingly so, because mm -hmm. I'm not really into beer. You're not, no. As you might have noticed, mm -hmm. but that one, completely fine. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice loaf of bread. Yeah, it's, it's also a bit like uh, similar to coffee, I guess that might be the reason why I'm okay with that as well. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just it's, a bit. Yeah, it's quite nice. You, you can't drink too many of them though. No. Especially if you've uh, just eaten. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. It's, it's uh, something that is, I don't know, somehow it's more intense than a regular beer. It just makes you feel like you cannot have like a to huge kind of glass of Guinness. Well, two glasses is fine. Well, I, if the glasses are half liters, then I will probably would fight with it for an entire night, but yeah. Well, you kind of do with anything. That is very true, <laughs> except water, because that yeah. I can drink <laughs> unlimited amount. <laughs> Unless it's bubbly. Yeah, nah, bubbles <laughs> don't go well. That is very true. But uh, who, who drinks uh, Guinness yeah, with milk? Paranoid droid said uh, didn't last time uh, someone say that he or she drinks Guinness with milk? No, I, I cannot remember that. Well, he... I, I cannot either. But if you think that Guinness is somewhat similar to coffee, then I understand where they are coming from. But it's still weird. But very, very weird. <laughs> and also, uh, we talked, I think, about Coke, uh, that uh, if you drink uh, Coke, it's also somewhat similar to coffee, but still not in the context of drinking it with milk, right? That would be... Not quite, no. Yeah. But uh, coffee, milk, yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, sure. Why not? Hmm. I... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we concluded that, I guess, then. Uh, that that would be spooky indeed, so FS says that's spooky. I concur. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, since we have a very nice request lined up here, thanks to Max Levine. Memories of BitLive, right? Um, fast Loaders and Elvira Mistress of the Dark from the album Amiga Rocks.
loud heartbeat. <laughs> I'm just handling the liquids, okay? I can't I help was, that. I was doing the heartbeat thing. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I thought that you were imitating my stomach while uh, <laughs> I drank something and it just went down. I think that's <laughs> kind of how things go when you swallow, yes. Yeah, but sometimes it can be loud and it's so weird and I can't do anything against it. Uh, it's when you get uh, air bubbles usually in your mouth together with the liquids. Yeah, and yeah. if you have like any bubbles in your drink, then it's easier to achieve, I guess, mm -hmm. this type of effect. So, but yeah. anyway. Mm. FS says, I didn't know that this game was also available on C64. I played it on DOS only. I don't know if it was on nope. 64, but uh, That's on Amiga the Rocks. Amiga at least. But uh, yeah, maybe it was on the 64 as well, but with different music. But yeah, that's a remix from the Amiga, Amiga version. Rocks. So definitely this uh, counts as an Amiga remix. At the yes, moment. it's definitely an Amiga remix. That's why I said maybe it was on the 64, but with different music. Yep. Who knows? Hmm. Amiga Rocks. Such a nice uh, album cover. You've never seen better. Who did that? I don't know. Some twat in a hat. <laughs> yeah, thank all Paul that he complimented you. Yeah, very nice hat, Slagon, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's be honest, it fits us, right? Well, today at least. <laughs> well, we are only missing a broom and we could just fly out uh, to nowhere after the show. Yeah, maybe I should get one. <laughs> <laughs> we have a broom. No, no kind of witch's broom kind of a thing. Okay. We have twigs and whatnot. We can probably make one, but I uh, should have thought of that before the show. Uh, we need to have a proper one. Like, you know, in Harry Potter, we yeah. need to go to the store and get one. Uh, no, those are so fucking easy to make. But they won't jump around and fly you into the type and everything. You think a store-bought one will do that for you? In Harry Potter it does. We just need to go to the proper store. Okay, we need to clear something up here. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but Harry Potter is not a documentary. <laughs> it's not. No. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sad. So fruitless <laughs> also doesn't exist. Um. It, I won't say yes, but um, uh, that is true. Mm. Okay. He does not. Now I'm very, very <laughs> sad. <laughs> Let's just play a request then. We can. Okay. Because you're so sad, you need to comfort yourself with a remix. Definitely. <laughs> and if Lala sends a request, we know it's gonna be a good one. Right? Oh yes. Always. And very appropriate, as usual, because it's Resmo and Entombed Late Halloween Remix, which, well, it's late Halloween, right? It is, is it? indeed late <laughs> Halloween.
Pinky bling. Pinky bling. Don't ruin Pinky it. It's so nice. Oh, come on. It's fading out and it's just repeating. Pinky bling. I know, but this hard part is particularly nice in this song. nice indeed. Yes, it is. So you have to hum along. That's how it works. It's like when you hear a good song, you sing to, uh, with it or whistle to it or whatever. Or with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I'm supposed to put up with this while he's complaining that I'm chewing sometimes when I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works? I do this once a week during our shows. <sighs> okay. Well. <laughs> do you eat once a week? <laughs> No, that's not, that's true. I eat a little bit more times than once a week. Ever so slightly more times. But Ever so slightly. Yes, just a little bit more, but still. Yes, but to change the subject. Happy mm. birthday, Marcus Schneider and mm. Sumpi, a.k.a. Juha Kaunisto. Indeed. Are you listening, uh, Mr. Sumpi? He was supposed to be here for the garden party uh, in uh, July, was it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, August and July? Yeah, I think uh, it, was, it was uh, August probably, but... Yeah, July or August or whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, that unfortunately didn't happen. But uh, yeah, next time maybe. Oh, look, happy spooky vibes to you too. <laughs> spooky <With> wives? Vibes. <laughs> With a C64 free screen backdrop. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. This is a very appropriate way of celebrating anything. Indeed. Very nice. That looks awesome. Yeah, looking great there. So. And it was nice to meet you as well at yeah. uh, the uh, concert in Bergen. Yeah. Bit live, it's we called. We said that last yeah. week as well, so yes. he heard it. I, I know. Think. Yeah. But if someone wouldn't hear it, then they, they could hear it now. No, right? no, they heard it again. They heard oh, it no, again. Because we never repeat ourselves ever. Nah. <laughs> it's not what we do. No, especially not me. No, No, never happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, it's nine and we play a request and after that we will go straight to Remix News, are we? Right, oh, right. Yes, we are. Uh, great that you agree with me because you need to start it. <laughs> yeah, well, <So> that <laughs> would be helpful, I yeah, would I say. I guess so. Yes. Yeah, and uh, that request is also close to my heart because Talking Walls Photo said he wants to hear anything berserk, your faith tune. And this is particularly a difficult one because I have so many favorites and um, since uh, there are a couple of favorites that we already played at some point in time in our shows, but this one we didn't just yet, and this was a big, big favorite of mine for a long time as well. Here is Mega Star Force for you.
These are the RKO and Amiga Remix releases for the month of September 2022. This month we have 13 C64 remixes. All the leaves may be turning orange and brown, but let's see what the remix community has made to brighten our day. First up we have Armadox Paperboy, Armadox Techno Remix composed by Mark Cooksey. Devil Lock gives us Terra Cresta remix composed by Martin Galway. Jet Set Willy is a remix by Dr. Future, composed by Borgar Torsteinsson. Next we have two remixes by Eivind Sommerstem. First up is Running You Are The One composed by Klaus Grundgård. The second one by Evin Sommersten is Stable Raster, composed by Glenn Rune Gollefoss. Johan Andersson gives us Comic Bakery, composed by Martin Galway. KJU64 gives us Zack McCracken cinematic trailer rock remix composed by Matthew Klein.
Beret Blues is a remix by Marcel Dunay, composed by Martin Galway. Mother Plucking Bee, Cybernoid 2, The Revenge, composed by Jero Antel. J. Oscillation gives us international karate composed by Rob Hubbard. with Ace 2 Remastered, composed by Rob Hubbard. Tony Fluke Center 3 Wine gives us Flimbo's Quest title live performance composed by Rein Uvan and Johannes Bjergård. The spotlight track for this month has funky beats and vocals by Mackie. It's an excellent mix and a real banger. It's Stellodosis, Berut Oljuri, You're Still My Number One, composed by Ari Yulahu, H-Mixer. Enjoy. I remember a long time ago Though my memories are fading But when I hear your voice I'm traveling through time
I would like to encourage people to visit remix.qued.org and amigaremix.com to listen and vote. Keep the remix scene alive. Till next time, take care. That was Remix News with Leon. Thank you for listening. Hello, hi. Hi. <laughs> Great. Remix News, excellent work as always by Leia and Morty. Yeah, thank you to both and the uh, amazing lineup as well for September. And that already feels like it was yesterday. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm really confused that now it's November and that has happened like a month, one and a half months ago, right? Yeah. Well, maybe because we uh, didn't do a show every week until like uh, early October, but it's amazing, yeah, yeah. definitely. It's uh, um, yeah, like a, a chunk of the uh, autumn here has uh, just disappeared. Yeah, yeah, it's gone, and then we are almost at winter now. So amazing! Wow, it's just. Yeah, we just need to catch up with everything, I guess, because uh, still we need some time for that. But yeah, amazing work. And uh, we have October, uh, I guess, for, for the next uh, week or next few weeks. And then we will be all set and uh, up to date again with the remix news. Yeah, and it's going to be a uh, very, very long remix news because that's. Uh, uh, yeah, Mika Remix had a break from months August and September. So, so uh, yeah, there's going to be 32 tracks on uh, the next uh, remix news. Oh, that's going to be a long one. Yes. Nice. So <laughs> exciting. So, indeed. Looking forward to that as well. Oh God! Yeah, I was wondering why my back hurts, and Slagon was kind enough to say because you are getting old. She is. We all are. Well, I'm a witch now, okay? So of course I'm getting old. But Wh which witch are you? <laughs> one of them. <laughs> but the thing is that it's the main reason why you get some aches like that is because you are not moving enough some eggs? eggs 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 okay <laughs> <laughs> easter is long gone <laughs> so eggs <laughs> do i have eggs in my hat <laughs> no i know that my pronunciation sucks but i don't <laughs> think it sucks that much <laughs> <laughs> okay sometimes it really sucks but <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> Never mind. It's okay. <laughs> All good. Uh, I will just, I will just go to this uh, beautiful piece that I lined up here, because. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> Spooky Goldberg. Uh, nice. <laughs> wants to hear. Gold clap on that one. <laughs> wants to hear. Yes, definitely a good nickname there. Mordi, this thriller ghost and goblins tune, please. Well, sorry to disappoint you, that wasn't Mordi. That was Maki. But the M at the start definitely is a fit. So. Uh, kind Mackay. of the same length of the name and all of that. Yeah, exactly. So. It's uh, it can be confusing, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so Mackay, more the definitely, but Mackay did the Ghosts and Goblins, Ghosts and Thrillers remix. Ghosts and Goblins, and that was in last the year. Night. Yes. And he didn't ask Playgon to sing. He did not. He did Bastard. Not. <laughs> 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 but he pulled this project off very well, I think. So oh, yeah, beautifully. Yes, so we shall go with that.
the scroll freeze I realize there is nowhere left to run You feel the cold hand I wonder if this level will ever be done Wide open eyes Yet you just never seem to catch them all Mackie, uh, I couldn't have done that one. You couldn't? Why? Um, I could have probably done it, but uh, it, it wouldn't have been as good as Mackie's version. His voice it fits perfectly to this and everything. And, no. and also, Mackie is a better singer than I am. There's some uh, tricky things in this song that are not very obvious, but he pulls them off really nicely. Well, Lala is requesting Sligon and Siona singing Ghosts and Goblins a cappella. <laughs> Can we have the Sid in the background? <laughs> <laughs> we will think about that. <laughs> well, n no, we didn't get a, a Max Levine says, didn't you get a copyright strike last time you played this? Or do I remember wrong? No, you don't remember wrong. We talked more about uh, it's not a copyright strike, uh, it's uh, just um, tagged as uses melody of or something similar. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a copyright strike as or per se, it's more that um, we can't actually monetize the, uh, the video on YouTube, which we don't do anyway, so eh. We are saved <laughs> anyway, yeah. No intentions there to do that. And the uh, ASDK, your request that you sent in was already played at the start of the evening. Rosmo and Tomed. Yeah. So next Thanks time, to Lala. Jo join in time. <laughs> 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 but anyway, uh, we are happy to play you something else if you would uh, like that. And uh, we now we lined up something for FS. Because he also had a great request, which is coming with an official video. It does indeed, and it fucking kicks ass. So yes. Let's play it. What, what is it we are listening to, by the way? What is it we are listening to right now? No, or that we will listen to. Ah, oh, uh, that what would be... What did you request? <laughs> It, it's not my request, it's FSS. No, what is his request? Yeah, his uh, request is uh, Second Reality by Sidrip Alliance. It kicks ass. It does.
Drums, Chad, bass, guitar, Gary, bass, Hermit, ne guitar, Necro, damn it, damn it, damn it, Vince, Vincenzo, uh, it, ne Necro, Vincenzo, uh, Rebecca, Monica, uh, sh sh Solosh, Vector, 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 Bumbush, uh, David, Lo uh, Dustbust, yeah, there we go, Cedric, Alliance. Mm -hmm. Buzz dust what? <laughs> dust bust. <laughs> dust bust, okay. It was on the credit thing. Well thanks for the narration. <laughs> Everyone needed that in the end, I guess. It's all good. Now we know. <laughs> Why not? Well uh, right, I need to find something. What is this? There we go. Sorry. We need to do that and that and that. 
Okay. Did you manage to? I managed. There we go. You managed. I managed. I'm very proud of you that you did. Uh, not particularly, <laughs> no. I, I think, um, yeah. Excellent reading of credits. So yeah, I got them Lana. all. It's like a Pokemon uh, Go kind of a thing. I got them all. Oh, at least you tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, we made an attempt to sing Ghosts and Goblins, but we got to the conclusion that we don't know it uh, well enough yet. At least I, I don't doesn't. I don't even have the lyrics in front of me. I have no idea. So he got uh, spooked from this whole idea <laughs> of... Uh, <laughs> I said it's not that complicated, but we will postpone this request, Lala, for a little <laughs> while at least. <laughs> what I'm more wondering about is that when is our next monthly mix show? Because we have something for you guys. We do indeed. Just need to figure out what to do with kind of the remaining bits. What to do with the kind of remaining bits? Yes. Okay, because now it's the 3rd of November and uh, I guess uh, this Saturday, yeah, this Saturday would be probably too early, there is Sunday, yes. the next Sunday is probably not the best, but the Sunday after could work and that's the 20th of November. I think that was Sunday when we started the yes, mix the series Sundays. and probably that would be Sunday because we don't want to collide with uh, Boz Radio and company Z Duder and Easy Coney and uh, Cactus and Matricado and Boz himself, him, the man behind the face behind the radio the face behind the beard and behind the <laughs> beard I, as I'm well. sure I've seen a face behind it at some point uh, I thought you <laughs> saw a face behind the radio yeah, the many beard. of them the beard <laughs> okay gotcha I don't know I what don't does know. what does Lala think about the 20th of November I don't know what does Lala think Let's hmm. see now that we ask on air. Does Lala have an opinion? He never seems to have any opinions. No, he never he, does. Yeah, he is he the just... guy who never has any opinion. No, never. All. It's so weird. You have to kind of, it's like pulling teeth out of that man. It's yeah. weird. You need to express <laughs> yourself a little better, Lala, because you never say an opinion about anything. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not in the least bit ironic. Nah, or never sarcastic was. sarcastic, rather. <laughs> if, if everyone would be like that, like having as as uh, much opinion as having Lala. ass. I I believe everyone has some ass at least. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. It would be a short life otherwise. And it would suck to be able to sit down, right, without that, but <laughs> the thing is... A bit of a sidetrack, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> you you always sidetrack, go yes. on the, the S part, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that if everyone would have such sophisticated opinions as Lala has, probably the world would be such a so much better place than, yeah. It would indeed be a better place. More Lala's to the world. Yeah. Well, he, he multiplicated himself. He did his duty. So let's hope that... <laughs> he did his duty according to the carry Bible. On. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go forth and multiply. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well. Uh... Okay, 20th uh, seems to be a kind of a, a, a thing now, so mm -hmm. uh, we'll try to aim for that. Everyone prepare. You have heard a monthly mix uh, that you have never heard before, and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it. And we got permission from the author now, so very good. Did we get permission? I think so. It very much looks like. 
yeah, like I said, just need to figure out the um, uh, the remaining bits. Because there's a few bits I need to be involved in in that one as well. Yep. So, yeah. Need to figure that out, uh, but uh, I'm sure we can fix something. Oh, hello, Adder of Triad on uh, YouTube. And Analog X64 is here as well on YouTube. And the Rising Hope. Hello! And. Uh. 4 36 pm. It's late on our end. Uh, well, I don't know what you call late, Avalok uh, X64, but it's about um, 9 41 pm here. And it's certainly not too late for us. At least, I don't remember when was the last time when we were sleeping at that time. Except when I returned from heavy duties and then I was sleeping for days after that. But uh, yeah, this is typically a time that is early for us. So not too late, but it depends who you ask, I guess. So all good. And 4.30 4, uh, 4 is certainly early. That is early. Afternoon. Early I, and I, I afternoon. Think, it's I, early I, afternoon. Yeah, I don't think he meant he's going to sleep. No, no. <laughs> he just suspected that it's late here. And I just said, well, not for us, but for other people, it might be. Oh, who right. go to sleep at 10. <laughs> but yeah, we are not those people. Yeah. Never five, were. Five hour uh, time difference. Yeah, it's yeah, not too bad. No, it's not. I think for Lala, it's even earlier right now. Probably, yeah. But not too much. <laughs> Six hour difference, or something like that. Lala also asked, do I hear the sounds of a new a cappella remix coming to RKO by our esteemed hosts? <laughs> I do not think you have heard any a cappella from the esteemed hosts ever. <laughs> Nor will you, I think. Oh, he Not never a cappella, will. no. Uh, okay, we are not Visa Röster, that's for we sure. We definitely are not. We are not, yeah, but... But uh, some voice type thing at some point, yes. Some voice type thing, yeah. okay. Well, oh, yeah. I'm nagging him for a while now, I think, about this. Yeah, you have nagged me for a while, yes. Yeah, still nagging for a little bit more while, while I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Lala confirmed it's six hours uh, time difference uh, to um, uh, him. Yeah. So. Not too bad. Not we will always bad. think about that, indeed. Not always. You know, when I go to bed, I try to think uh, about other things rather than the time difference to uh, Lala and Analog X64. <laughs> well, I did not so. say that when you go to bed, you need to think of that, obviously. But <laughs> when uh, we align with certain things, then we better think of that because that is a good thing to think of. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you line up the next picture? I did indeed. Okay, so <laughs> Lee and O wants to hear press play on tape that song about making cheeseburgers and whatnot. And um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm sure I've heard this before, but I don't remember the title or anything. But it's called uh, Parappa the Rapper 2, Toasty Buns, by Press Play on Tape. Sounds good From to their me. album called Home Computer. That's right. I'm in the house. Here it comes. Extra, extra, read all about it. The best burger in town from all around. People from around the world come and get it. The line goes around like a merry-go-round and cuts. Cut! Heat! Heat! Chicken toast! Toast! And cook! Cook! Very nice! Cut! Cut! You gotta, you gotta heat! Heat! Chicken, chicken, chicken toast! Toast! And cook! Cook! Shake or a friend. If 
you hungry, simply line up at the end. Come on, people, gather round. We got everything you want from all around. And cut the lettuce. Cut the lettuce. You gotta, you gotta heat the grill. Heat the grill. Take a, take a, take a toast the buns. Toast the buns. And cook the patties. Cook the patties. Take a, take a, take a, serve the drinks. Serve the drinks. The mustard, the salt, and the pepper. Put it on right like we've got no extra. Yo, what's the grill? Control the flame, guys. Follow the rules, they pick up the pan rice. And cook those burgers. Cook those burgers. Turn the patty over. Turn the patty over. Watch them fries. Watch them fries. Better execute sooner. It's all we have in mind When we cook the best You better get in line Now put it on the tray Is it for you all to go? Any which way it is good to know And cook those burgers Turn the patty over Cook those burgers Turn the patty over Cut the lettuce Don't forget the cheese Cut the lettuce Don't forget the cheese Take a toast the buns French fries Toast the buns French the fries Bring on the ketchup Sweet the fries Bring on the ketchup Sweet the fries A rapper, the rapper, rapper 2, apparently from uh, PlayStation 2 originally. Yep. I did not know that. So this was not a 64, neither an Amiga remix, because this is a game originally from 2001. And, uh, well, that's why the album is called Home Computer, I'm assuming. That was a very, very spooky track. It's like on, <laughs> on the periphery of... Uh, good computers so the further we came uh, uh, come uh, come from the commodore 64 the scarier it gets oh does it like now? the ps2 is an actual console <gasps> imagine that ps2 remixes now <sighs> we need to start a page for that maybe <laughs> ah well there is also a remix i guess that's good enough for that purpose as well but yeah it's a uh, well press play on tape quality so we are not complaining, not in even the least bit. No, it, it was a nice track. Mm -hmm. Very Indeed scary. It was. It was. <laughs> Very scary, yeah. <laughs> I know it scares you that it's not a 64. Yeah. It's um, very, very scary. That's why I needed so much time to convince you to actually visit a PC and multi-platform demo party because you only wanted to go to 8-bit parties. Yeah. <sighs> Story of my life. I'm still trying to get him to revision at some point. Way too many bits. Way too many. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Way too many bits and bobs. <laughs> ah. You would love that if you would be there. Well, the, there can never be too many bobs. But enough bits. No, too many bits there can be. Yes, but not bobs. But never, never too many bobs. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Oh well, we will see. Maybe at some point one Easter I can convince <coughs> him. And then we can go. I'm just waiting for Horizon to uh, kind of uh, revive the Easter parties from the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, or whatever it was. And uh, which party was that? The Easter party. The Easter party. By that Horizon. Was, that was an 8-bit party. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so yeah. I thought. Commodore 64 only. Maybe you could find an Amiga somewhere, but very rarely. It was mostly really mostly used for uh, like cross compiling, so you coded on the Amiga, and then you had a kind of a serial cable and sent the code over to the 64. Mm -hmm. So okay. you wouldn't uh, use up uh, the memory on the 64 with uh, an assembler and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that was the only function of the Amiga being there. Yeah. Oh well. I see. <laughs> 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 Not sure, but I see, I guess. Yeah. It's 
kind of the uh, the best use of a PC nowadays. You can yeah. uh, you can use it to uh, code 64 stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the best use. Uh, it's a good use. It's a very good use anyway. Mm -hmm. But come on, you didn't suffer on function either. It wasn't that bad, right? They had meat on a barbecue. And is this what is the your fondest memory of it? They had many good bits of meat. What would Mowgli say if he would hear this? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> now I'm curious. Hello Mowgli, I <laughs> love you man. Hey. We, we're good, right? Good, good, good. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about playing a track for Psycho Dad? <laughs> Hi, I thought that was me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be you, but I guess you did not request tonight. How do you know? <laughs> ah, that's very true. I don't. But or maybe it's my dad. <laughs> oh, that would be even more surprising. Now it gets juicy. So. <laughs> Signify and Alloy Run, a good one. Indeed, a very, very good one. I have a problem, by the way, but I'm, I'm wondering if uh, someone could uh, help me out. I uh, plugged my six, uh, 64 in and uh, it said <laughs> and uh, then it just went beep, 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 and I'm wondering if uh, someone could help me. It's uh, very weird. Um, 
And if I, I can show you, uh, hold on, I just need to charge my laptop apparently. Uh, if uh, someone could help me identify what the problem is. Um, uh, this is what my 64 looks like now after the incident. It's uh, very, very weird. Do you, do you see it? There, some light on it. it it's uh, very odd. Um, so, uh, if, if someone could help me out uh, fixing this, I would appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. I wonder how that would be fixed. <laughs> I wonder if it's more visible over here, maybe. There we go. There, there we go. There, there you go. Some yeah. light on it. Uh, there we are. So, yeah, you see, even the keys went all black. It's very weird. And it says oh. beep, 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 yeah, beep. Yeah, it just went <laughs> beep, 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 beep. It's all it does. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. And the graphics look like shit now. Is I don't know. It's very weird. Yeah, well, let's just admit that it would need a bit more creativity to enhance those tunes. As Lola added that. ZX81 game tunes. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe at some point someone will come up with something because we know the demo scene is one of the most creative uh, areas where you can go. So, I would actually, not be surprised. I have actually heard a couple of ZX uh, Spectrum tunes that were not horrible <laughs> <laughs> it's the best you can do it's like okay they're not horrible at least so yeah, uh, yeah. what a compliment <laughs> i always wanted to make shoes for this kind of compliment it it is not that horrible you did fine <laughs> that c64 of yours legon requires some serious amount of red robe right Said Lolo. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, and you're probably that still right. wouldn't solve anything. <laughs> no, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> but just in case. Lolo, it's great that you are talking because you would never guess who requested a song. Um, Lala? No. It wasn't Lala who requested a song. He did too, but we cannot really La fulfill Lala that. Psycho Dad? That's uh, that was a different story as well, but Ace DK requested Lala and Gyroscope Scaroscope Halloween mix. That's a good one. A very good request. Very good one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
stepping on my toes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wa it wasn't meant to be. It's just, it just happened. It just happened. As it always does. Uh, indeed, because your feet are so big. Yeah, they are enorm enormous. Mm. 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 So big. <laughs> Hey. Huge! <laughs> no, I have a completely average size feet, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because that's the first size where they buy all of them in and the store and then you don't have anything. Basically. And also, uh, it's so average that it's not like on the numbers themselves, it's in between the numbers. So it's like a 37 okay. and a half or something. Yeah, but for seven and a, 37 and a half you usually buy 38 because you want a little bit of wiggle room unless it's sandals because then you don't want that and then you need 37. So it's a bit of a hassle when you are half size, but still... Like a hobbit. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so now I'm your little hobbit again. <laughs> There's one photo, now with, that I'm with selecting... Less, less hairy to toes. Well, that's great to hear, at least. However, <laughs> now I have read that hair is coming back into trend, which uh, <laughs> which I don't know uh, what to think of, but uh, it's, okay, I guess, okay. Yeah, well, you, you know, <laughs> uh, the trend goes, uh, uh, cut your hair, shave your head and whatnot, and let all the other hair grow. Well, that's uh, that's gonna look interesting, I would say. <laughs> Not really sure I can identify with that idea, Oops. but okay. It's <laughs> I have nothing against those who identify with that, so I'm not saying that. But it's just so weird how society changes their idols from time to time, and then all of a sudden someone up there or I don't know where the heck figures out no this is not trendy anymore let's do something else let's grow hair here like it's uh, always changing like in the old uh, Roman times <laughs> a uh, well-fed uh, hefty woman was the most sexiest thing ever yeah uh, heard it's of only that. it's only recently uh, relatively recently like in the past what five decades or something that uh, these uh, fucking thin models that uh, never fucking eat thin. Yeah, yeah like uh, you see the ribs and everything is like uh, come on eat something at least <laughs> but they yes. no they they uh, first of all they might be actually born with that feature too so, some of them yes some of but them uh, most, most of them not and then no one should shame shame them yes, because but most of them not because that is a that's very true when yes. you when you uh, put such a pressure on yourself that you uh, all all you care about is really that you cannot really eat anything you like because you need to maintain that shape and uh, that is yeah that's probably not the most optimal situation and not really maintainable for like more than five years after your youth maybe i, I guess that's not really good but yeah, but i do like that uh, they have started uh, having uh, more natural looking people on ads and whatnot yeah uh, lately also, uh, hello, Drew. Yes, hi, hi, hi. We are the nerdy people. Are we now? <laughs> and we are talking about hair now and stuff. Oh my well, god. Well, we nerd about uh, all the things. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, actually. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, really just uh, following sometimes these uh, ideas and things and, and just reading those articles and just wondering, like, yeah, so interesting, like society-wise, this whole thing that someone just up there decides this and then you are also confused because when you grow up, like, there is this standard in your head and pretty much no one is able to escape from those standards. Like, trust me on this, not even, I certainly am not because I was conditioned that way, that you, you just you remove it because because you do right and then then all of a sudden they come with this right and then your eyes are not getting used to it 
Yeah, they just didn't get used to it. That's it. Like, like this is not something natural you see, and well, then you are completely surprised that you see a natural thing because stupid society conditioning that is happening. Yeah, sure, but uh, it's not uh, what you so much what you see, but uh, what people uh, deem acceptable, and these uh, the people you uh, um, are. Uh, kind of as associating yourself with it's like well, take me for example born in the early 70s uh, do you think anyone shaved anywhere yeah so okay. hair everywhere i know uh, but yeah aesthetically uh, i find uh, shaved better uh, from purely aesthetics uh, kind of thing it kind of uh, looks more like a marble kind of a, 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 a the thing, uh, statue or whatever, uh, is I uh, have Michelangelo uh, carve all the armpit hairs of uh, someone you know on a marble statue. Yeah, it's gonna not look as good, you know. Yeah, that's the <laughs> thing. That that's what I'm talking about. That it bothers me as well. That I I really I'm not not having judgments or anything because if anyone prefers that it's fine it's it's okay it's just that i i have a hard time i'm confused about my own feelings because i have a hard time finding it beautiful because this is not what my eyes got used to right well there's uh, i can imagine that there's a uh uh, beauty in armpit hair and uh, i guess so some uh, leg hair and whatnot but there is one place and one place only I absolutely do not want hair can you imagine uh, any place that would be well no I have no idea <laughs> on my microphone okay yeah, well, that's <laughs> a fair point <laughs> it's really annoying because uh, there is a fucking hair on it now because when you do this and you go very close, you get a fucking hair in your <laughs> nostril. Like a fuck off. Okay, yeah, good point, fair point, absolutely. But I also don't prefer cat hair over the microphone. Yeah, any hair. Any it doesn't hair. matter what kind of hair it is. <laughs> Just grow, grow real pubes on. <laughs> right? <laughs> I imagine carving pubes out of marble might be a bit cumbersome, <laughs> Sandro. <Yeah, through>. exactly. <laughs> Between so, your toes. Uh, uh, here's the thing. I, I don't think that the uh, statues that Michelangelo uh, carved out of marble actually had shaved armpits. It was just too cumbersome to actually Obviously. chisel those out. And besides, they would just break off over time anyway. Yeah, very true. Or look like a fucking cancer lump under the arm. Like, what the hell oh. is that? <laughs> yeah, that's that's not optimal either, I guess. But or, I or imagine pubes on the on the the, 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 the lower parts. Uh, it's like, but it's, what is that growing on that thing over there? Where, which, which part is which down here? But now that you say that, this is like really weird because now that you say that, I think of it and yes, statues and monuments, they usually don't have any hair either. No. <laughs> is that where it's coming from? <laughs> so Society's and expectations. Yeah, and have you seen the hair on their head is very smooth and kind of wavy, if anything? True. Yeah. yeah. So. Wow. Okay. That's your set standard for beauty in the 15th yeah. century or what? Marble, marble statue or hit the streets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Did you line up by I any did. chance? Very I leech's request. I did. And ready to press play on it. On tape. Yes, because we have it on tape. Yeah. We're old school that way. And it's so amazing. It has so amazing quality. It can only no. Uh, it can also play a video. It's a video tape. Yes, it's uh, like a, a Betamax. Yeah. But better. Incredibly stable image 
Mm -hmm. No shakes, no things going on there. So, um, uh, what was it he requested? Okay, okay, it was uh, it was an Amiga demo music, which is called Scrambled Mind, Heat Beat. Heat Beat of Rebels did this Scrambled Mind. Nice. And it's a module, so... Let's we? play it, yep. shall we?
lovely module by Eat Beat, Scramble the Mind. Indeed. And uh, Alpa said, uh, nice graphics. Uh, yeah, that was uh, from a channel called Demo Music Channel. Currently has uh, 31 subscribers. So if you want more of that type of thing, head over there and subscribe to them. Nice. There's a bunch of them. Uh, not too many, but um, oh, a few at least. Yeah, I just got subscribed. So why not? Anyone sharing the interest with us? It's really great. Indeedly doodly. Uh, Indeedly let doodly. Me, uh, let me have I, a look. I will definitely let you have a look. <laughs> Stop there and we need uh, that thing. Um, you, you can talk. Yeah. If, if um, you want. You, you are talking. I did not want to interrupt you. Meanwhile, you do that. So... But yeah, it's all good. We entered the last hour a while <gasps> ago already. So uh, that went quick. Yeah, indeed. About 40, a little bit more than 40 minutes left of the evening. I'm uh, wondering actually what uh, DJ Demon wanted to say with the Reaper blow the horn. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a song that I'm supposed to know about. But I was searching for it and I couldn't find it. So. That is not if, easy. If he thinks I'm the Reaper, then <laughs> that's my horn. That's what it sounds like. It's shitty. Yeah, that's not the most beautiful sounding horn ever. <laughs> it sounded too juicy as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, do you need new <laughs> pants now? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm more talented like this uh, there we go but well, it's not blowing anything <laughs> that sounds something like is something entirely different i um. know right <laughs> i was always proud of this talent and i never could show off anywhere <laughs> my classmates back back in time when we were like <laughs> eight nine years old i don't know they were amazed like Show us how you can fart with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because technically most of the people need some sort of water to do that. But uh, since I have, I don't know, I have pillows here probably. It's just, it just works, you know. <laughs> no problem. Uh, uh, Drew, Drew says, holy shit. And I thought my hand farting was good. <laughs> <laughs> I will always beat you. In Tetris and hand farting. <laughs> My skills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what special skills you have? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, wait for it. Ah, that's uh, actually, that's a good one. But now it won't look great because I have no, I, but I, I can do double lips as well. Mm -hmm. Not like that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but that doesn't really sound good but that doesn't really look good because black lipstick obviously so that mm -hmm. is uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> and right now I have like double you lips <laughs> you, you just look sad <laughs> I'm very no well very very sad right that risk challenge yes paranoid droid we, we need to do this at some point I mean it's um, yeah, we used to have these uh, brick game kind of things as well. Like when we were children, and it had several type of uh, games. First it was two in one, then it was eight in one, and there was like thirty six and one hundred in one, and that was like so confusing. Uh, but those were clones, I believe. So it's uh... <laughs> subscribe for Sweden's Got Talent. Yeah, I used, used to be popular. able to do this. <laughs> I used to be able to do this, uh, like put all my fingers on top okay. of each other, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's they're, gone. They're, eh, I, I still can, but it, they just slip off now. It's uh, just, <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe a bit of sweaty hands or something, I don't know. <laughs> but, eh. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, no. I, I can do this. Uh, yeah, I cannot do that. That's so, we so weird. Yeah. No, definitely not. 
But... So you start, start with these. So just these. Uh, no. And then you do these. And then I you do these. I can do that, but I cannot. Nah, nah, no. <laughs> no, that just won't work. Ah, no. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. That's, that's my talent then, I guess. <laughs> can you can you do like mirror writing? Like uh, when you write the same thing, but on an opposite direction. Have no, you ever tried? No. That's very interesting. I can do that, actually. I, I'm shit with uh, writing with my left. It doesn't matter. I'm shit with that too. But uh, when you start to write, how naturally it comes that you can write the same things with uh, yeah, a mirror. Well, I guess I could, uh, because then you have your right hand to guide what the left hand does. But the pressure will be uh, wrong on the left one, I guess. But yeah. It might not be perfect, but it's just an interesting thing. I think that's uh, also like a connection between the left and right side or whatnot uh, of the brain. Um, Obviously, something is about that. And then we can talk about the synesthesia thing, where it's really weird, but sounds trigger colors and all of that. And uh, yeah, that that is a thing. And uh, it feels a bit silly to talk about it to those people that don't have it, but... <laughs> But it's just a thing, you know? It's just a thing! Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it because it just happens in the brain. You hear a sound and then, ah, that's yellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, right! I, I mostly just hear moods. You hear moods? Yes. How do you do that? Uh, the same way you do colors, I guess. So it's what, just what? I hear When I hear music, it has a certain mood to me. Ah, yeah, music, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But that's, I think that's for most of us, even and if you don't have that kind of thing. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, no, kind of the same with people as well. Mm. I, I see mood. Okay. You see the average mood of someone or you see what mood Current. they are in currently? Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Well, that's a great one as well. Mm, well yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's great. Ignorance is bliss, they say, some of them, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Drew added that uh, Tina's superpower, uh, his girlfriend obviously, is writing mirrored, like when she's in the shower, she can write fluently in the steam on the glass, so I can read it from the outside. Uh, I nice. think she is a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean that's that's another thing. Writing mirrored, that is so weird because, yeah, I probably couldn't do that. I can definitely simultaneously do no, the same I, thing. I think I could, but I would need to kind of really think about it. I, I if, after a little bit of practice, you probably could because what you need to do is essentially visualize the word and then just flip it. Yeah, yeah. And then you, uh, if you see the word uh, written as it is, and then. Just mirror it. Uh, it should be pretty simple. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, write a, a mirrored E. Yeah, that's I mean easy, that's that's right? okay. Yeah. 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 She, yeah, she uh, does that naturally without thinking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. So some some people just have talent. That's yeah. it. Ah, oh, God. And also when you uh, grow up doing silly things, like uh, you have a certain silly thing that is just yours, it's like... <laughs> silly thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, uh, you just yeah. uh, grow up practicing stupid things and then it comes naturally after a while. That's what you do, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. <laughs> yep, amazing. <laughs> And you prepared the sin for us. I now. did indeed. Is that true? <laughs> I zero requested Caverns of Kafka by Paul Norman. Uh, Subtunes 1 and 2. Those are short ones, so you yeah, can it's play for, both. For 40 seconds and uh, the other one is, let me check, 43 seconds. So I'll play them uh, one after the other. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a <coughs> when I switch, but... Uh, Whatever, you know. Just do it. Yeah, I'll I'll just uh, do it. Okay.
This is nice and cozy. In it. Very nice. It is. Okay, so we can have it as a background uh, thingy, I guess. Yes, I less know. loud, that, but that works. Yeah, that's nice. Very that's relaxing. Just, uh, leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I mean, at some just, point it will yeah, jump. Yeah, it just needs uh, a, a bit of reverb to make it like a church organ thing. Yeah. It would be perfect. Did you press loop? Then I it did. will loop. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, is that what the loop button is for? Thanks. <laughs> I'm very helpful. I know. You can always count on me, right? <laughs> press play that way it plays and if you press pause it will stop <gasps> no it will not it actually stops when you press stop it just kind of temporarily stops if you press pause well when you press pause it stops at the point optimally where you are at least and it will leave it there then just hovers like a hover car that wasn't there. Your hover car is full of eels? <laughs> yes, my hover car that isn't there is full of eels. God damn it, those eels. Uh, oh, uh, nice. Have you guys uh, seen Avenue 5? Uh, with, uh, with uh, what's his face, from House. House, yeah. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, their only source of food is eels. They do everything with eels. As Hugh soon, Laurie. Yeah, as soon as you say his name, I would just go. Uh, duh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, duh. <laughs> yes, Hugh Laurie is the captain of the spaceship that got stuck in space, and uh, it's a really fun series, so we can definitely recommend it. <laughs> Lord Evil. <laughs> that. I don't remember what, where it came into to context. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Have a car full of eels. Must be very, very bad for you because we know you don't like anything sea related, so. No, it would need to be very, very processed. Uh, yeah, like fish sticks. As yeah. you say it, fish yep. sticks. Fish sticks. You have a thick fish sticks. <laughs> Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's the... I'm wiggling my fin. Yeah, your That's what? That's my fin. Your fin? My fin, you know. The fin at the back of the fish. Ah, That's a fin. Ah, that's a fin. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. the, the tail of the fish. Right. Okay. That's my tick. Well, that's your tick. Okay. <laughs> ah, you're missing so many great things, including Norwegian salmon that I just recently had from one of the well, you're best missing, places. You're missing all the good licorice. Oh, uh, I definitely do, and I intend to do so until same the end of my life, definitely. Yes. Same thing. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> However, the, the reaction of uh, some of my friends that was priceless when I introduced them the salty licorice Hungarians. Like, I, I took a bunch of salty licorice there because that is something we absolutely don't know. Uh, it never happened that they sold it in Hungary. Now they probably do because we have Tiger and that's a Danish shop and they have a few licorice related items there. <laughs> but uh, they were so shocked. They asked me to never do that again. <laughs> like, uh... They washed it underwater. <laughs> This maybe it will get better. It's but like, it didn't. It's like uh, when Taz uh, came uh, for one of the first Many People shows. Uh, Taz and Neil Carr from England. Yeah. Uh, or the UK. He, uh, I gave him a piece of licorice and um, he just, oh, oh, I want to try. And he sat in the sofa uh, next to a window that was open. Uh, he put it in his mouth and then. Just, made the weirdest faces you've ever seen and then he just ran over to the window and just spit it out onto the streets with people passing by down, down there. So what the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, 
Lord Evil is definitely posting some weird things there right now. <laughs> I wonder what Lord Evil is trying to say there. There is a fish for you. A very talented fish with yeah. special talent. Yeah, yeah very much uh, so. And uh, if that is your equipment, Lord Evil, I suggest you go to a doctor. <laughs> it looks a bit weird. Long cucumber. Uh, brown cucumber? Yeah, no, that's thanks. a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, ah! Ah! Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to business here. We yeah, might let's. need to play some tracks, right? And uh, the next one. Oh, the next one is a remix that I lined up for FS. He requested CZ Tunes and No Mercy and Game Remix. And now. CC or CZ? 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 I always say CZ, isn't it? CZ. CZ Tunes. CZ. CZ Tunes, yeah. CC? CZ. 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 Do you want to say I'm lazy with my Zs? <laughs> That's what you want to say? Yes? Z okay. CZ tunes. CZ tunes. Okay. Case closed. No mercy. End game tune. <laughs> no mercy indeed. <laughs> and there's only one task left for you. You need to press stop. Yes, I will. Okay. Now. Go.
said tunes no mercy and game yep and uh, original was composed by our birthday boy marcus schneider marcus schneider marcus schneider as we <laughs> as we know at least i think that once lp chief was looking for this tune and uh, he didn't know which one the tune was by the way how are we this uh, with this uh, plan of yours about the shazaming remixes kind of uh, i kind of uh, abandon it because it takes too long uh, to do that for um, every single tune mm. and um, yeah it's doable but uh, i simply don't have time to build the pipeline to actually do it automatically mm -hmm. okay yeah uh. so yeah that's where we are with that one. I see. Well, I did. I didn't have it identify uh, remixes within a couple of seconds uh, when you played them, mm -hmm. uh, so we could have uh, essentially auto tag uh, the uh, stream titles, basically, unless yeah, you played something lovely. something outside, like from YouTube or <laughs> whatever. Yeah, that's uh, smart, because but... yeah, that's uh, yeah, no, not gonna work. Because <laughs> then I need to index the whole of YouTube as well, and that's not yeah, gonna happen. <laughs> that's, that's never gonna happen. Wonder how many videos they are dealing with right now. Uh, they kind Zillions? of have. Uh, they uh, have uh, like uh, I don't know, hundreds of millions of uh, new videos per day or per minute or some sh idiots things like that is like. This staggering numbers yeah it just makes me wonder like uh, the amount of uh, content that the whole world creates like if they would put you in a room uh, completely isolated until the end of your life with internet only then you still like through throughout your whole life you wouldn't be able to watch even half of it remotely like that is so weird to think about. Well, it would take you uh, probably a couple of thousand lifetimes at least. A couple of thousand life yes. lifetimes. Wow. Yeah, that would be something. Minutes of uh, content uploaded oh, to God. YouTube per <laughs> oh, minute. Oh no, you are checking it actually. Per Can minute. Jesus. Um, on average, more than 150. No, oh, that's a uh, uh, weird uh, stat. Um, um, uh, 330,000 hours of video content based on an average video length of four and a half minutes. Uh, yeah, per that minute? Is per minute. Yes. Oh my God. So Jeez. yeah, yeah, and a couple of thousand lifetimes wouldn't be enough. Holy moly, that's so weird to think about even. Yeah. Well, 500 hours of oh sorry, there's, here's another uh, stat. 500 hours of video is uploaded to YouTube every minute. Yes, every, every minute. minute. That's wow. A lot. Wow. Yeah, that's like what three weeks of video <laughs> constantly without sleeping? Per, per, per minute. minute. That's <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay. Hard yeah, to... just fast forward and you'll be done in a couple of billion years. Uh, yeah, right bring in the dinosaurs and then everything like that and andrew lair says quantity isn't quality that is very very true but yeah. there is a shit bunch of good quality videos on youtube and uh, even if you uh, kind of generously shave off uh, like 90 uh, percent of uh, all of that you still have 50 hours uploaded per minute <laughs> so yeah it's still yeah it's not able to even 
picture for the human mind, that amount of everything that is on there. Well, the next one, well, the next one might be there as well because people tend to upload the seeds in uh, like, you know, very Siddish quality, but we are going to... Siddish quality? Siddish quality. <laughs> in Siddish. Authentic quality. <laughs> yes, and uh, Max Levine requested Zyron and Sunset Dream. So that would be our next song to play, I guess. I guess. Are you ready? I am. Are you? Do we have a stream title? Yeah, almost. Uh, can you start on that? I'll sort the rest. Oh, come on. <laughs> I will. So uh, here we go. Sun Sunset Dreams by uh, Yuan Ostrander, aka Zyron. was appropriately spooky as well yes i like it mm -hmm. um and uh, speaking of um uh, youtube content zyron has uh, a channel on that there youtube i just posted it on discord uh -huh. it's uh, youtube.com slash c slash dj zyron nice. he does uh, dj sets and whatnot uh with uh, vinyl mm, yeah the good old stuff that mm -hmm. is like something I always wonder about how those people do all those gorgeous things with that gear. 
is just amazing what they can do. And he played on Data Storm as well several times. Yes, I think uh, some of his uh, Data Storm sets are on his uh, channel there that I posted. Uh, um, I, I've uh, taken to collect uh, people or remix uh, related um, people in the About channel, mm -hmm. if you check there. We have uh, like two very long uh, posts um, with uh, YouTube channels for people uh, in the remixing scene. So yeah, just uh, go through those and uh, subscribe to all of them. <laughs> yeah. Dex, hi Dex, Halloween after party, something like that. Yeah, kind of, because this year we are late to the party, but uh, previous week it felt early so you know we are closer to halloween right now so yeah we're like her shoe size somewhere in between <laughs> <laughs> now everyone knows the most important information <laughs> right yeah the most impo important information about you <laughs> you is the shoe size <laughs> half size that's the most important anyway uh nice still nice songs coming up and i intend to play those that are in front of me here so let's carry on with uh, dead puns request <laughs> <laughs> and that would be mixer we like puns yeah they do this would be mixer and death wish free
four death minutes. Wish free. What is four minutes? Uh, uh, carry on. What? Carry on. What, what you were saying? I was saying um, mm. this was mixer and that wish free. That yes. was I, what I was saying. Yes. But <laughs> and I said four minutes left um, before we uh, kind of close up and uh, Puko found her way in here. Uh, she knows, I don't know, I've never seen one of these on her uh, paw, but uh, she knows what time it is. She just knows, and we <laughs> don't know how, but she just does, that's it. Yeah, and uh, Andrew Lear uh, has a bit of a uh, trivia piece on uh, YouTube, says, uh, say, Did you know Charles Brunson is from my hometown in P Pennsylvania? Hmm. That I, is, I did not know that. That is always very interesting when uh, someone comes from the town you have uh, grown up with. This, this is why it was so interesting for me to move to Gothenburg as well, because I just thought, wow, Ace of Base is from here. How cool is that? <laughs> you know, it's like those things. And uh, Roxette is not from here. They are from... Uh, uh, south uh, somewhere like Mure, uh, Mure, uh, Malmö or something like that, I, right. uh, but, but smaller uh, okay. town somewhere close to Malmö-ish. That is such a cool thing when you can just um, yeah, say that, right? So, yeah. So and what uh, does Halmstad? That's where Halmstad. Hanna Kapelin is from, I think. Right, yeah, ah, so, nice. So, there we go. Uh -huh. And Shargar says uh, Halmstad as well. Well, Per Yesle is. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And no, no special show today until 3 a.m. But uh, I can give you two more tunes. Slagon will argue with me on that. But I think I will give you two more tunes because they are great tunes and uh, great requesters and everything. So we just need to do that. <laughs> and I decided this on my own. Sorry, Slagon. <laughs> It's not that I want to overrule anything, but... Uh... <laughs> just uh, look behind you, because Puko went there. She uh -huh. just found the uh, spider web and the two dead spiders. Because there <laughs> actually is uh, two dead spiders uh, right there, down there. I'm, I'm actually going to show you, because it's uh, kind of fun. If I can get this... Uh, where is it? This one, I think. Is it running? Hello. Hello. No? Mm -hmm. No? Really? Oh, it's not. It's the wrong one. No, uh, hold on. Probably. Uh, it's the other one. On. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. It's the other phone. Oh, uh... Anyway, the good thing about Halloween that if you have spider webs, you don't need to clean them up because they are decoration. Yeah, you just uh, leave them for next year. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. <laughs> there oh, we go. Well. Spider web, spider web, spider web. In our corner down here. So. Spider web, spider web. Move how your how chair did? A little bit. How how did that there we happen? Go. Oh, spider! That, that, that is just no. It's yeah. That's, it's the, the, it's a uh, yeah. I still don't understand this. How it could happen? <laughs> like you literally was vacuuming this room every week. How that can happen? I don't know. They're quick. They uh, notice that uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, nice places, like uh, warm and dark. Most of the time, this room is dark. Hi. <laughs> or maybe you just uh, didn't uh, happen to think that the corners need to be vacuumed as well. I did vacuum those as well. Ah, uh, you did. Okay. Yes. So uh, they're very, very quick at uh, kind of invading the space and uh, just doing their thing, I guess. Yeah, well, they can be. Certainly, I can tell you that. <laughs> Especially amazing how they can be behind paintings, for example, or uh, pictures on the wall that were not touched for a few years. I can tell you that. Fresh experience. <laughs> amazing. Anyway. Two more tunes we talked about, and one is going to play now uh, for a listener that calls himself or herself goals just want to have fun. We just need to. I cannot resist to play this. Of course they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amok and Commando Halloween Gangbang version. <laughs> 
Commando Halloween gangbang and you, you ask what happened with Amok. We don't really know, but for certain, it's it's certain that he gave us 40 amazing C64 remixes from 2008 until 2014, and then he just disappeared, and we have a complaining Puko in the background. Mm-hmm. Now, can mm-hmm. you take your cam to show her? Mm-hmm. I can. That would be I, probably... I, I cam. <laughs> you cam. <laughs> I cam. You cam. That definitely sounds uh, like I, a sight. If I can find it again. Where that, did I put it? That's complicated. Yeah, it's uh, so many fucking sources. There we go. And it's working. And yeah, someone uh, found her place. Right. Hey Puko. <laughs> hey Puko. Okay, well, she just decided to enjoy the moment. <laughs> okay, now I'm really cute. I just really want to show you how cute I am. Yes. And uh, now she expects the belly petting that she loves so much. Not many cats do, but she loves it so much. Yeah. Well, I guess... Uh, nice stuff in the shelf as well. Yeah, she uh, will go on with mm, this for a while now. Mm, At least she's not complaining, mm. so that's good. There's your prize for... Uh, what was the prize for? 
uh, to figure out what project we were talking about. That right, uh, yes, the musical together. project. Yeah, at some yeah. point, and we played it, I think, as a sneak peek in one of our shows. But it's been a while since we did that. But I don't think, uh, and you don't think either, that anyone remembers that. And yeah, definitely, it's uh, it's been a while. So we have uh, three signed uh, copies of uh, this one. The ninja ninja musicology. Yes, but uh, that you said that is for the remix compose later. Yes. Is that the case? That is the case. Okay. So, no, they are not USB sticks. They, um, if you plug them in uh, HDMI, then the machine thinks you have a 4K monitor. Yes. That's the point of them. Which is a pretty cool feature, actually, if you use that type of thing. So, uh, mostly used when you want to remote into a machine. So, uh, for instance, I had uh, one of my servers, my, my rendering server in the uh, server room in the old house. Uh, but uh, you can't convince the machine that there's an actual monitor hooked into the thing. So, you can't actually use the graphics card. But if you uh, plug one of those into the uh, graphics card, it just says, okay, I can use this now. And you can configure the uh, uh, remote uh, connection to actually use it, which is very nice. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely good feature. But yeah, I don't think we will get an answer to that. We need to find another question. Uh, Paranoid Droid says, uh, you can do it if you have an NVIDIA GPU, though. Yeah, I had one. And no, you can't. There is no remote uh, desktop uh, kind of a software that uh, allows it to be used properly, uh, as far as I could find, at least. Mm. So I had to had one, have one of those to emulate a screen. Emulate the bus. Yes. And the thing is that... And yes, it was Linux. Uh -huh. And the thing is that we have one request left for today to play and that one is a very good closing for tonight it's uh, requested by jld jild 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 <laughs> jild <laughs> jild okay well that's that's something new that can work <laughs> uh so yeah that's what we are going to say goodbye with and that would be vagelis papadopoulos and ghosts and goblins rock metal cover it's a good one a very good uh, one very, good very one. appropriate very closing. good one yeah good one good, good one. one good one Going to not your mouth. it's a very good one Exercise a little bit and then maybe we will have some yeah, yeah, froggy, puppets. yes, <laughs> Muppets there around. Muppets, puppets, mm -hmm. crappets, <laughs> crumpets. Good work. So yeah, um, we would like to thank you everyone uh, for keeping up with us tonight. Are you keeping up with Slay Radio? The Slay Radio keep is keeping up with you. That's too long. The <laughs> Slay Radio is keeping up with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do vocals at some point. So uh, I'll still work on that with him. He is too shy. <laughs> <laughs> Just need to find the uh, uh, right uh, yeah, uh, thing yeah, to yeah, do. And yeah. the Ghosts and Goblins uh, can really do it because I... I didn't have the lyrics um, and uh, reading lyrics while you're singing them for the first time, it's a no-go. Yeah, that usually doesn't work very well, that exactly. is for sure. So, yeah. But shame on you that you didn't listen to it more times, because I did. Yeah, I, I don't even remember the lyrics I write myself. So don't ah. expect me to, to remember other people's lyrics. Donk diggy donk. That one you remember, right? It's it's an easy one. Yeah, that was a perfect one. Yeah, that one I know. That one you know. You you worked your ass off to figure out those only for Dax to give some. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That's how it went down. Yeah, you spent all your week with figuring this out. It's very deep. I have to admit that. Yeah, 
I agree totally. Mm-hmm. It's very, very deep. Uh, you can read in so much emotion into those digidongs that you, it's. You just yeah. don't know yeah. what you think. It's so deep. Yes. Uh, you can, you can feel some of the dongs. <laughs> Especially the dongs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay i guess that's a good end point for the show tonight so yes i think so too everyone thank go to you. your dongs <laughs> thank you everyone and uh yeah it's been a pleasure uh being here and uh, talking bollocks and all of that and um like she said uh now you may return to your dongs and sleep in tights. That too. Because it's cold. It is. But that is your line, so I shouldn't have said that. So anyway. Well, you said it now. You own it. <sighs> God. <laughs> okay, then. Ne- next time you might borrow my dong thing. <laughs> oh, well, that's <laughs> another fairy tale story. Uh, now we carry on. With saying goodbye, we will be ne- back next week, and well, we will see. Obviously, that uh, is up to several parties. That, but maybe we will have the October remix news edition as well. Maybe ever so slightly. And then, yeah, uh, you can expect the usual chit chats and everything, and uh, request plays and all of that. And uh, yeah, sometimes some Easter eggs as well when we have some exclusive to play or some small discussions that we planned to do and we will see uh, where we go with these things shortly. But uh, yeah, definitely you can expect Slay Radio to post uh, as well on Facebook very shortly. Loads of pictures like that really took some work uh, from my end to select them and put them together and all of that so wait for it uh, very nice contributions from uh, Barry Leach at least uh, I yeah. think mm. and Chris Hulsbeck and Chris Hulsbeck yes definitely so we are definitely up for it uh, take care see you next week have a good night sweet dreams and bye thank Bye-bye. you see you soon and see you sleep in tights bye Potato. Do not. No. Do not. <laughs> do or do not. Potato. <laughs> Bye. 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 Computer. 
live. Good night.